What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. When we talk about the concept of tricking, which is really the ghetto term of spending money on women, and that can be indirect or directly, indirectly, you know, that's buying dates, going to movies, and you're looking to get more from the lady. You have a girlfriend, you know, you're spending money on her. That's pretty much, you know, what some guys would consider, you know, tricking, right? Um, and then there's a more direct approach. Men who pay money for the access to the you know what, okay? That's something a little bit different. But now I want to talk about it from the uh, male perspective because there is a level of male escorting that happened. And it's not always, from what I understand, um, a hetero, a, a homosexual thing because, you know, that, that happens too. But there's a guy that is going viral by the name of Samuel Hunter. Now, looking at this guy, he looks like an older, average white man. Maybe 50, close to 60. For me, I mean, I, I wouldn't know if he was a guy at the gas station or something like that, right? But here's what he's saying in Australia. Number one, he's making $10,000 a month from sleeping with up to seven million or seven women at a time. He is often put up in five star hotels by wealthy clients and gets taken on 10 day trips to Bangkok, accompanying women on an exotic getaway. He's in his early 40s, and to me, I thought he looks like even his 50s. His youngest client is 23. The oldest is 70. Okay. Now, let me, let me just say this. He's been doing this for two years, right? But now how, how does this work? Most of these women, at least 25% of them are married and they're paying him $600 for two hours. So these married women are cheating. Why is that the case? Well, number one, let me tell you guys something, okay? Here's what I found out about women. You don't know anything about them. That's the reality, okay? Men should accept the fact that we don't know what we don't know. And the more I understand women, the less I understand them. And I have already understood I don't understand them. I'm okay with that, All right? Sometimes you understand a woman more than some other guy because she lets you understand her more. And that's the point I'm getting to. Some of these women can be in happy marriages, but they're screwing this guy on the side. And he could be fulfilling sexual fantasies for them that the husband never even knew she was interested in. That's something that's going to break a lot of guys' hearts. Some of your wives, girlfriends, are bisexual. They like group, you know what? All right, they, they like more than one person in the bedroom outside of you. There are many things that they like. The problem is you don't know it. Some of women have married you guys for safety and security. You're the good pick. Yeah, you've had kids with everything like everything like everything like that, right? You're the good pick. You're the safe pick. You're the guy that's going to be there. You're the guy that's going to invest in the family. But you are the guy who don't turn her on. And it's always some guy that turns her on that you don't even think that looks like he would turn her on. That's the truth. And some women are going to do that. And the reality is, it's, 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 you know what? It's the consequences of dating and marriage. You know, dating and marrying people, to me, it's a war. 
It's like going into a boxing ring. You know you're going to get hit, right? And it's like sports. You win some, and then you lose some. And women are paying for what they like because some men, you know, can make a woman feel some way temporarily. And let me tell you why. When you deal with a woman every day, you have a lot of strife, right? Um, you get tired of each other. The longer you're dealing with somebody, the harder it is. Okay? Relationships take a lot of work. And so because relationships take so much work and there's so much investment and then sometimes disappointment, it, it blocks sex from happening. You know what I mean? It does. It, it like you know that's why guys have side chicks side chicks really help you get back i, I mean it, you know for for guys have done it they they if you have a, a a relationship with somebody and she's getting your nerves side chicks really make everything right in a way because you don't see them all the time therefore therefore they're there for you know they take your mind off the stress boom back to reality and guess what the side chick is doing some things the wife isn't doing. Listening to problems. You know? Huh. Giving you that kind of rush. It's the same thing with girls. And I think that what, what, what guys need to understand is that you're never really fully going to understand your woman. You're not. You don't know what she will do. My grandfather was married for 60 years to my grandmother and still didn't understand her. I think that's something that we need to understand. Okay? Doesn't make it right. But there are things about her you're not going to know. And probably it's your money that's being spent on these Escorting things. You know? And it happens every day. Do, do, you, do you know? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Women are not like banks, guys. I, I really want to bring this home. What you put in is not what you get out. When you, when you invest in index funds, um, when you invest in things uh, like tangible things, you know, in the gym, eating right, you see results. Women are not like that. You can be giving your money in a woman and some guy the next day that she meets can get more from her than what you've been giving her for 20 years. It's how it works. It's how it works. When, when women give passion to a guy, it's not based on, you know, you've been good to me the last 20 years. You've been taking care of the family for the last 20 years. That's not going to get you the hot sex you want. The hot sex is going to come from some sort of excitement and attraction. And that, that it, it comes and goes in relationships. As long as you guys know that. Because what happens when you and your wife separate or break up? The next guy she deals with, who doesn't do what you do, gets more sex than you've ever gotten in the first three, six months. Why is new? It happens all the time. And once men understand that, you can invest what I would consider less. I would, I would tell everybody that. Give less. Because at least if you lose, you haven't given everything. Wonder why so many guys are crying on the street right now? Hurt. Because you've given everything to women. And women, ultimately, I hate to say this, they're a risky investment. They are. It's the truth. Want to go broke in America? Get married. <laughs> Want to waste your money? Give it to a woman and never get it back. It's one of the it's one of the best ways to be broke. Take your woman on nice trips, doing very very exclusive things for them, just for them to go and do with some guy next week. It happens all the time. Usually for a guy who won't give them nothing. This is the truth. And when men understand this. It's much easier to deal with. Like, oh, your wife's cheating on you. Yeah, I, I kind of accepted that. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ready to get rid of her. I'm, I'm telling you, you can be the guy doing so much, she'll meet a nigga the next week, a dude the next week, 
who can't give her nothing and will be on the phone with that guy every day. I don't know why it works that way. I don't have any idea. I don't know. I don't care. I don't. I'm more invested in myself than any other people. So as long as you understand that, guys, don't be surprised if you find your girlfriend, you know, it starts with buying guys dinners, buying guys dates and stuff like that. Hey, you guys are in a lot of trouble. So it doesn't shock me that this dude is making all this money dealing with these ladies who he who he's built some sort of emotional uh, connection with that the husbands have lost. You can't, it's hard to build emotional connections when you have responsibilities. This guy's not responsible for these ladies. When you got to take care of women, take care of families, take care of kids. You don't have time to sit in the bed and cuddle all day. You know, it's like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you're broke, they don't want nothing to do with you. If you're working, you don't spend enough time with them. Okay, you're ignoring me. Let me go spend some money and time with this other guy who will never commit to me. And then when you find out, well, you weren't spending time with me. But if you're broke, they'll leave you. You see? It's how ridiculous it is. If you're broke, they'll leave you. If you're too busy, they're going to leave you. Which is why you should be ready for them to leave you. Because they will. They will. Maybe not all the time, but they'll cheat. Think they won't cheat? If you will cheat, they will cheat. As long as you understand that, then you won't be so upset when it happens. Because it's going to happen usually. Especially if you're a busy guy, you're successful, you're doing very well. You can't monitor whatever they're doing. And don't try. Don't try. You can't control people. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. We're out. <laughs>